Okay, this is a Fragram Cut 40, which is a Chinese plasma cutter. Um, very similar to a lot of the generic type of plasma cutters that are coming into, a, into the, around the world, and including Australia. This is one bought into Australia by Fragram Tools. Um, we, to modify this, we had to be some modifications done to work with the CNC, Smart Cut CNC portable machine. Um, the biggest problem is this is a touch start and it's supposed to be a drag cut. So what's what's happening? What happens? It's supposed to touch the surface to actually fire the um, plasma, which means it's looking for a voltage. Now, when you hook your two pins here, which is the ones that turn the machine on and off, to your smart cut CNC machine, it could it won't start. Now the machine, if I short those two terminals, that will start. So what we found was the um, machine, if it's sitting, the actual CNC smart smart cut CNC machine is if it's just sitting on the same earth so it's earth through the machine itself and on the same as your cut table there's a feedback coming back through that through the machine which causes the machine the plasma not to start so the first thing I had to do was isolate the table which means I put rubber blocks under my table which is separated from the CNC machine itself and uh, straight away the plasma will cut except it will only start on the table so to get around the starting on the table the next thing we do is if you can see the end of the tip here that's got a bit of twisted wire on that's actually a bit of stainless steel wire and what that does I'll hook that up with to the earth clamp now that bypasses the system where it needs to actually touch down to actually start the plasma so with the earth with with no earthing between the machine and the table cures the starting problem from the CNC machine and this modification with which runs a wire from that uh, little bit of stainless on the tip there across to the earth clamp you will then be able to start the machine where it's not actually touching the job okay we'll have to consider that this is a consumable with a wire here because it gets quite hot and it will break away quite easily so I'm basically just using the stainless steel wire to get it onto the end I've actually ordered some longer nose pieces which will probably give us a little bit more and get a bit of the heat away from the wire and um, at the moment it's just to twitch the wire around there the other end of the wire just has a clip which goes onto the earth thing uh, earth clamp on the job and from that 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 will then trick the machine into thinking it's actually earth and it will start at, at, at any height it doesn't have to be touching the, touching to work Okay, the smart cut machine as we imported into Australia has a 50 to 1 input from the plasma machine to work the torch I control. This terminal here is the 50 to 1 input terminal. Just beside it is a little jumper. Now if we're using 50 to 1, it will set, be set on the jumper 50 to 1. If this machine can also use a 1 to 1. So this is output voltage straight from the plasma cutter. And it would have a jumper then set on the 1 to 1 ratio. Now we cannot put one to one from the plasma machine to the smart cut in Australia so we have to actually reduce the voltage that that the signal puts out so normally like other machines like the razor cut 40 which we use we can set that at 50 to 1 ratio and just plug it straight in with the cheaper cut 40 it doesn't have any outputs like that so we have what we're what I'm going to attempt to do is modify the board remove the board out of a the smart machine and place it inside the plasma cutter which will then use um, three wires for the signal wires going to the torch high control so we have to hook 240 volts up to this trans transformer here so that's plus minus AC voltage we'll be then using the plus and minus voltage output from the, plas the cheap plasma cutter down this end is 24 volt plus minus and another signal so those are the three terminals we have to use but we also have to make sure we're on one to one up here on that otherwise it won't work because it's set from the factory by at 50 to 1 okay so I'm going to have to find a place to mount it so I'm going to remove the cover on that now and I'll open it and show you where I've decided to put it okay this is the cover removed from the plasma um, CT40 fragment I've made up a small bracket to bolt into the side here. This is the only place I could find to put it. I've drilled a couple of holes in here which will have a spacer and the board will actually go into that position there. 
So from there we then have to took the 240 which I'll be coming up to the switch which is a double pole switch 240. I'll be running an extra lead from that across for the 240. The output is going to be coming out of that end there so I'm going to put a four pin plug onto that run it to the outside which will then go up to the machine I've got to modify the machine to accept a nine pin plug. Um, on the actual voltage side this will be take coming from the positive and negative of the outputs of the machine. So basically we're coming here and the same on the other side. So those two wires there will be coming to here, 240 will be coming off the switch and these three will have an extra plug bolt bolted screwed into the back which will then run another lead up to our smart cut machine through a nine pin plug and will panel mount another nine pin plug on the, on the machine and that will then take the signal up to the torch height control for the voltage height. Okay, this is the wiring's all been done. So the 240 volts going into there, coming from the switch, on off switch, on the on the on the on when you turn it on it turns that on. Power to there, coming from the main outputs. Positive is earth. Negative is to torch, so positive is earth, negative is torch, coming down here, set up as a one to one ratio, which if you read that it says one to one is the top one, the J pins are in the right one, so the jump is correct, the outlet comes to three wires, plus 24, minus 24 and signal, had to come up to put in a four pin plug, using those three terminals. The three terminals then come across the CNC machine to our nine pin plug and that's how we get into the system. It will be going into there and then through this will be, that's it, it's going through the wall of the thing that will be drilled into the front of the CNC machine and the pin from inside will go into that side and the pin from outside from the plasma machine will go into that side. So we'll hook it into the circuit. Okay, continue on for the modification of the fragment cut 40 to be able to use our voltage divider is now fitted inside the machine. So we have got wiring coming out which we now have to hook up to the CNC machine so to be able to use it. We're basically going to be using a 9 pin plug like this which we've actually set up on the end of the um, lead coming from the uh, fragment machine. My machine still has the divider board in there, so what I've, all I've had to do is just connect off, off this end the 9 pin plug. So that is the input that's going into the CNC machine. All I'm basically going to do is drill a hole in the side of the machine, which will fit me 9 pin plug, put the 9 pin plug on the side and then I can attach the 9 pin plug straight into there, which is the input from the fragment will go into that and into the machine to, to operate the, the, the torch height control setup. I'll just drill them whole and show you how that's going to look. Okay, that's the um, fitting cut hole and everything, but I have, have to get a couple of nuts to actually secure it correctly. It's just sitting there and wobbling around at the moment. So you've got the, that's for the torch height control, You're using a nine pin. So the voltage divider is actually in the plasma cutter instead of going into the machine, using the machine's one. And then it's coming straight into the system, already, the voltage already corrected down in the plasma cutter using the one to one of the plasma cutter to get the 50 to one for the machine. It's going to just turn on and off as per normal. Now it should, it should run up the hill so I've got a bit of a slope up there. Can't see very well but it should it should the voltage should change on the LED display. Try and get in a bit closer so you might be able to see it. Reduce the voltage is expecting. can't see over there to see if the voltage is going up and down. You can see the voltage move, I can't see the machine going, so just try up and swap this for the setup the static.
Yeah, that definitely looks like it's climbing there, so that's the stick of power. So the conclusion of the exercise is that a non-CNC type plasma cutter, which has only one to one voltage coming out of it, can be used to um, drive the torch height control. The divider board has to be placed inside the plasma cutter and it has to be wired up internally inside the plasma cutter so that the machine, the plasma cutter will send the voltage to the nine pin plug which is on the CNC machine. So we're going to bypass the, the CNC machine and go straight to that nine pin plug into the circuit. So we can use the plasma cutters one to one ratio, change it and then use that to run the torch height control of the machine. So that means basically any plasma cutter should be able to get going with a divider board.